I've had an opportunity to actually meet in a classified briefing with CSIS last Friday. Um, while I'm not able to disclose um, the details of how that foreign interference applied to me specifically for national security reasons, uh, CSIS has confirmed with me that I am being targeted for foreign interference and will continue to be a target. To that end, um, let me also offer these comments. The reason why I'm being targeted is because of my activism uh, in support and to fight for basic human rights for not just Canadians, but for those who are abroad as well. We table the motion, an opposition motion, which will be presented tomorrow, debated tomorrow in the House. And in that motion, we're asking for two concrete things. First of all, given the clear apprehension of bias at this point, we are going to be asking for Mr. Johnson to step aside as Special Rapporteur. I've been very clear in not attacking Mr. Johnson personally, and I maintain that. But given the clear appearance of bias, given the mounting appearance of bias, and particularly given the track record or the donating record of the chief counsel that he engaged to do, to do his work, Ms. Sheila Block, it is very clear that the appearance of bias is so high that it erodes the work that the special rapporteur can do. And that's why in our motion we'll be calling for the House to vote on Mr. Johnson being setting, stepping aside as a special rapporteur in order to go about this process in a way that does reinstill confidence in our electoral system and in the process. We'll also be again calling for a public inquiry. It has been our position. We forced a vote on it in the House before and we'll be forcing a vote again on it. We believe a public inquiry, the rigor and the scrutiny of a public inquiry is the only path to reinstill confidence in our electoral system.